Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy be back with you once again for another edition of Big Jump's Wheel of Fortune right here at MVP Productions. Glad you can join me here on this I've been enjoying taking you guys through some different versions of uh, wheels, some different wheel formats and layouts. On today's episode, we're going back to something that I enjoyed personally from my childhood. We're still going to be playing Wheel of Fortune, but we're going the kids version. Last, the one that lasted one season on uh, CBS. We're going to be playing a little Wheel 2000 style today. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and set up all the wheels and stuff in the game. Now, originally in the Originally in Wheel 2000, they only played three rounds, and then the winner glued on the bonus round. But I alternated, I altered the wheel layout slightly so I could fit a third round wheel in there. And I'll explain all those as we go through the game. But yeah, we're going to be using the Wheel 2000 set, and I'm playing against David and Mary, and I think we've got everything set. Let's make one quick change here, so we have the um, 125 space out there. And uh, there was no toss-ups, there was no... You got a prize for solving every puzzle, but we're not doing prize puzzles because that'll break the format and style of Wheel 2000 on this one. Um, I'm going to leave the red letter puzzles in because they're fun. And again, they don't break the game that badly. And it's it's uh, random that they come up, so... It's going to be fine. So we're going to do a classic style, do a little Wheel 2000. And I said let's jump into it. Here we go. Two thousand. All right, first round wheel looks something like this. We have a there was a prize out on the wheel, and we have a one thousand dollar space the top dollar amount on the wheel the for the first round. Is person. Person's the category, and that's about an appropriate length of puzzle for wheel two thousand back in the day. There were like one word things, making it easy because again, this is sort of the kids' version of the show. So, I just modified it slightly, not to break it, but this should be a fun layout game here. Start with a T. Pretty good. There's two of them. Nice. Start off with two T's on the board to $1,200 for that spin. And I'll spin again. Yes, they have the Mega 250 spaces, which lets you play mini games for bonus letters, but... We don't have the mini game capability here, but I left the 250s intact anyway because it's Wheel 2000. That's the way it's supposed to be. R, please. There's an R. And sadly, though, we have no Cyber Lucy to entertain us, but we have I King, which is the next best thing. Oh, please, not the creature. No. Okay, we're good. 200. Um. N? It's a pretty popular letter. There are four of them in this puzzle. Wow. Good job. I'm going to buy a vowel. E. You're in luck. We have now, also one. on Wheel 2000, they play for points. And we read the most points at the end of the round with play for the bonus round. But, of course, this is Wheel of Fortune. We're going to play for cash, so it's okay. There's one plus another. Um, A. There we go. Well, looks like shop's closed. No more vows to purchase. I'll spin it then. Three hundred. Uh, let's do an S. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? Two. One. Oh. <laughs> One of these days I'm gonna guess right. There we go. As long as we avoid the creature beneath the wheel, we're good. And our final spin's gonna be 150. W. And with that, I'm an instant winner.
Alright, 1950 is what I get there. Huh? Got it classic, oh. sir. Now for 3,000 more, if I can unscramble the red letters to come up with a word. I S, let's see. I S A N I R. Is it raisin? R A S. I. Yeah. R A R A I S I N. For some reason, I couldn't spell your raisin. I knew it was, I knew it had to be the word. But yeah, fail. It's it's yeah. It's one of those things. It's super early in the morning when I'm recording this because I'm recovering the old system here from a technical glitch I had yesterday in yesterday in some recordings. But you guys will never be able to tell the way some of the recordings work. But, um, the yeah. category is same Can't, name. Not awake enough to spell raisin yet, apparently. Alright, round two. Uh, David's gonna start this time. Round two, I put some tokens on the wheel for this one. Along with the surprise wedge, we have the double up. They had a double plate. They have a double up space on wheel 2000, where basically it's a $500 no. a letter. That's but he would Spanish. ask you a trivia question. You get the trivia question right, you double up, and every letter you play for will be a thousand dollars. Well, I don't have anything like that, but I do have the double play token in the in this version, so I felt it was an appropriate substitute. So, put that out there. And also, there was the wheel www.wheel2000.com space out there, which will allow a player at home to win a prize as well. So, since I didn't have the .com space, I decided to substitute in a wild card because I like tokens. And I like shiny cardboard. And speaking of said wild card, David's got a shot at it with an N. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? One. One. Oh my god, I actually got it right. He's got the wild card now. So that's the appropriate spot on the wheel for that. And um, yeah, we put a $2,000 space on the wheel for round two, which is what they had in the show. M? Well, what do you know? There's one. Look at David picking up all the prizes and stuff. Getting all the shiny cardboard out there. He's got a wild card, he's got a surprise, and he's got spinning in. One fifty. Is it D? You're in luck. We have one. Okay, there it is. And he buys his first vowel. There's an I. And Mega 250. C. There's a C. And... Uh, 550 there for B. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? Eight. One. Oh. We tried. Let's uh, see. He's going to buy a U. That seems to work. I am trying to figure out what this puzzle is. Here's 500. He gets a P. Yep, there's a P. Gonna spin it again. And watch out for the creature. Nope, he makes it 650. R. There's a couple of R's. Got three of them. $6,400 for that spin. Uh oh. Is it going to catch him? Oh, he got caught by the creature beneath the wheel. Loses the wild card. Loses the surprise. My goodness. All right. Uh, Mary's first spin on the wheel today. Starts with a G. And she's going to pick up two of them. 
And that's all these valves left. Bottle and automatic garage door opener. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. Good job. Congratulations. All right, she gets the house minimum of $1,000 for the game. Which in Wheel 2000, you w there was no house minimum. You would just... I actually, I think there was. I think it might have been 500 points. I think it might have been the house minimum. But it's 1,000 in this one, so as long as it's the same across the board, that's all that matters. Now here's the wheel I made up here. I added the $3,500 space to the wheel. I left the tokens out there, and that's pretty much it. The category is food and drink. And I actually added a second bankrupt or creature beneath the wheel space out there. Because it felt appropriate at this point in time since we're playing for bigger points. So, let's see what happens here as Mary gets the first spin for 300. Let's see. And voids that, gets 550. Takes the L and picks up two of them. He's got 1400. Spins again. And there's 250. Picks up an R. Not bad, there's one. There's one R there. I'll spin it again. Five fifty for a W. Not bad. There's one. Another. Mary's up to twenty two hundred, and I'll spin again. And nope, she avoids the creature, gets 200. There's B. One B. Oh, and this is appropriate for Wheel 2000. A bowl of cereal. There you go. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. Good job. Congratulations. All right, so 2400 for Miss Mary at the end of that one. Overall, 3400, which is again approximately a. a of appropriate score for this time and era. So now we go to our fourth round, which they would never play on the show, but I want at least a decent video. So I put longer wheels in there. We put the 5,000 point space on the wheel, or the $5,000. And... The category is showbiz. It's showbiz, and I get to start. So that's the wheel. This is the wheel we're playing with for the rest of the game. Couple of bankrupts, the surprise wins, the double play, and the wild card still in play. They start with 300. T. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? Three. Nice. All right, put 900. I'll spin again. Literally, the only thing missing, in my opinion, at this point, to make this one perfect, would be the voice in the background calling out the letters, like, because it'd be like. T, be like, T, T, T. Because that's what it did. R. But my buddy Jason buy Myers one, get one here free. this morning. He does a perfect impression of that. And I'm like, wow. I wish I had the talent, the voice talents of some of them. I'm a good presenter. But when it comes to character voices, yeah, not many. Not many is coming out of here. I do like two or three decent ones, and that's it. Too fitty. Um, how about this? Not bad. There's one. Cool. I'll take that. 2050 is what I got. And I'm going to spin again. Because I need to, and I want to, and I got to. And we have 250 again. In. Hey, that's pretty good. There's two. We're going to do this 250 at a time, people. I buy a vowel. E. Not one, not two, not even three, but four. E. 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 Huh. I'll buy an I. Well, hip hop hooray. There are two of them in the puzzle. There we go. 
Can I have the O, please? You're in luck. We have one. Okay. Well, you might as well give me the A as well. And apparently there's a U in there as well, so let's just go ahead and get that. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? Sadly, one. it's just the one. Well, looks like shop's closed. No more vows to purchase. And six fifty, okay. Um F. Hey, that's not bad. There's two of them. Okay, now I know what that last word is. Literally just had to come up with one letter. I'm playing currently playing a game of Dad's the Creature. Ooh, chance for a double play. Um, let's go with the L. You're in luck. We have one. Alright, so that gives me 500. I have a double play. Hey, that double play could come in handy. You use it before any one of your spins, and it will double the amount you land on. Alright, I'm gonna spin again because I'm still behind. Maximum spinach! And look at that, 250. <laughs> what a shocker. Which again, that's the case more often than not when you play Wheel 2000. The way, it's, the way the wheel's set up, there's a good chance you're going to land on 250 more often than not. There's just three mega sections. Got 500 for that one. And now I'll take the P. And now for our feature film presentation. Very nice song there. Good job. Alright, $3,350 is what I get that round. Um, added to what I had prior, I'm at 5300 Mary's at $3,400. Literally still anybody's game at this point. We go to our fifth round. Same wheel layout. We're going to put another double play token back on the wheel. Just because, again, I like tokens. I wish they would have kept the double play around because I do enjoy it. I plan on using mine this round as we look at this Category puzzle. Is place. Ooh. And well, David gets to start this round. Round five. We might get to a sixth round today. I don't know. We shall wait and see. I should have probably done 20 minutes, I think, on this one for the sake of Wheel 2000. There is but, you Uno. Know, I like all of them. That's one in Spanish. 25 minute game of playing Big John's Wheel is usually perfect. But like I said, with this still being real with Big John's Wheel, the the only thing that I wish that I had well, a custom you know feature of here level. would be is in the final spin. Instead of leaving it set to an automatic thousand dollars added to whatever you spun because of current wheel of fortune, I wish there would be have the ability to put whatever amount you wanted to add to the wheel. Like if you were doing like a classic or a daytime style, you could add like two fifty or five hundred dollars to the spin, and if you do the current one, you do up to a thousand. Be like, that's just that's just a suggestion, but I. Big John probably not even made any more modifications to the game, and he can't release it anyway due to his um, um, cease and desist one. order he's gotten from. Um, just, yeah, so basically, yeah, yeah it's never going to happen. But if I could, if I ever did get a future update to it, it would be just that'd be one small feature. Otherwise, this game's still great as it is. Well, how do you like that? There's five of them in the puzzle. Uh oh, my dang. Okay. We've only got one of them. Good for you. Not so much up there. 
David trying to play catch up here hard. He's already up to 4,500. Will he be able to make it? Maybe big points. Nope. Got a chance for the wild card, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's two. All right, picks up the wild card this time. I know the puzzle. And this actually would be something you'd see on Wheel 2000 as well. But he solves it incorrectly. Mary, going for the solve. Popular turn to track, and he gets it. Well, look at you over here solving puzzles. Congratulations, you've done it. Good stuff. All right, for $4,000 more, can she unscramble the red letters? And picks up trackers. Wow. Very nice. That's 4000 more. So that turned a minimum win to a $5,000 win. She now has the lead with 8400 but again, with the, with the way the format's set up, it's anybody's game. But Mary's going to get to start this round. Round number six. And we have, again, same wheel format out there. And let's see how she does as we look at this puzzle. The category is quotation. All right, there's the quotation, and Mary going to get a start. Starts with 700. Takes a D, there it is. It's a pretty popular letter. There are four of them in this puzzle. Good job. Doing really well. And 650. A hot spot today on the wheel. Two H's. We have another red letter puzzle up for grabs here. And will she get caught by the creature? No, she makes it 200. M. You're in luck. We have one. Enjoy all that M right there. 1950. And that's going to be a 550. There's one plus another. Two ends. And she escapes the creature again for 200. Two T's. And solves it. Reach out and touch someone. Gets it. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Good job. Congratulations. 3450, and now the chance for $4,500 this time if she can unscramble those red letters. And the scratch this time. That would have been a tough one. Yeah, thanks to her red letter solving ability, she's up to $11,850 on this Wheel 2000 episode. Went to round seven. Puzzles have been fairly quick solves today, so we got time for another one. So let's take a look at the next puzzle. The category is Thing. One. Singular. Finally, I got it right. Shut up. Yeah. Thank you, King. Thing's the category. And I make it out of uh, 300. T. Pretty good. There's two of them. All right. Two T's. I like to buy an A. There's the A. And I'll take the E as well. Alright, Osprey. There's a surprise. Ooh, chance for a surprise. Can I have an R? There's one, two, three, four. 
Aww. Well, no R for me. Sad face. Back to David, who's still got that wild card. Two fifty. Oh, mighty sound effects, lady. Is that letter in the puzzle? You're in luck. We have one. Nice. Let's just see. Two fifty. Takes an F. No. No F. And there's the final dings we were waiting for. Time for the final spin. That sound means final spin. My turn! Give the wheel final spin. Ask the puzzle. We'll have five seconds to solve it. Files worth nothing. Cassis will be worth one thousand dollars plus five fifty. So fifteen fifty a letter. Thing is the category, and Mary, it is still your turn. Okay, why? No whys. Is there an S? No S's. David? Takes the I. There is Uno. That's one in Spanish. No money for Val, but a chance to solve. A chip tooth. Gets it. All right, David at least That's gets on the board. Way to go. You solved that puzzle like a professional. All right, well, that's the end of this game, and it looks like I'm going to finish it second on this one. 5300 David gets $1,000, and Mary, with those lucky uh, Red Letter Solve puzzles, gets $11,850, but we're still going to play the bonus round for her, see if we can't win her a nice prize. So... Mary, let's see how well you can do. All right, you've made it this far. Now it's time to spin that prize wheel and see how much you're playing for. Now, in the original bonus round of Wheel of 2000, you had two envelopes that had great prizes in them. You picked one, and that's the one you played for. Kind of like the classic WHEDL, but this one was just A or B. We're still playing the prize wheel here, so we're playing for cash. Category is proper name. Yeah, proper name is our final category. Start with R, S, T, L, N, and E, which is what you get in the show. So now we're going to get three more consonants and a vowel. All right, buckle down here. And this is an ugly this puzzle, puzzle to have. Three consonants. One vowel. Now yeah, we got our work cut out for this on this one. Let's go. D. H. M. And A. If you get a little bit of help, will it be enough? Proper names of category, 20 seconds. Here we go. Um, is it Placido Domingo? There it is! Got it! Uh, Placido Domingo, and we get married. A nice prize of forty-five thousand dollars. Uh we they would never give that much away at the show, but again, it's Big John's wheel, and I just wanted to switch it up. So congratulations. I got married forty-five grand. Hopefully I get a cut of it. Grand total for her, $56,850. But hey, not a bad game, not a bad episode of uh, Big John's Wheel, so hopefully you guys like the little Wheel 2000 throwback. Uh, we could probably go back to classic style, throw up a different set next time. But in the meantime, between time, thank you guys so much for watching another fun-filled episode of Wheel of Fortune here. 
Remember, if you like this series and want to see more of it, all you gotta do is uh, click the uh, subscribe button down below, ring the bell, that way you never miss out on all the funny games going down here in VG Production. And until we go spinning and winning once again, and we have more Big John's Real Fortune on the way, I'm your host, Brandon Scott, saying thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye for now, folks.